Baruchim Habayim Ladik Duk Dakot. This video is about the infinitive verb stems. As you may remember, an infinitive is a verb and a noun or a verbal noun. As a verb, it communicates action, and as a noun, it acts as a subject or an object. The form of the infinitive uh, is that it has a three-letter shorish, like all verbs. It has a binyan, a stem, like all verbs. Something significant about the infinitive, however, is that it has no PGN. There are actually two different kinds of infinitives. One is an infinitive construct. The other is an infinitive absolute. We are going to be focusing in this video on the infinitive construct. Uh, but there is information on the infinitive absolute in the chapter. Okay, let's see what the infinitives look like in the various stems, uh, starting with the pa'al. Since we're working with infinitive constructs here, uh, we're going to use a preposition. And for this example, we're going to use the preposition lamed, although other prepositions can be used as well, and you'll see how that works in the next video. So, for the pa'al, uh, we add the preposition, and then you'll notice that the form for the infinitive, the pa'al infinitive, has the same pointings as the, in, the imperfect pa'al. Uh, so that's really convenient, and it follows through on the other stems as well. So for the nifal, uh, as you might expect, you are going to have a doggish in the first root letter representing a noon that has disappeared. But a really unusual thing happens with the nifal infinitive, and that is that there's a hey uh, after the preposition. Then, the vocal pattern uh, follows along with the imperfect. So, lahikatel. The PL participle, we'll put our preposition on here again. <clears throat> and we have then the doggish in the middle root letter. Uh, because it's a PL form, PL form, we still get to see that. Uh, and then, the vowel pointings the same as the imperfect again. So, likatel. Yikatel for the imperfect, likatel for the PL. You can see how similar they are, but how it's easy to distinguish because you get that preposition at the beginning. Uh, heat pa'el. We'll add our preposition uh, with a shva. And then, dagesh in the middle root letter, uh, heat after the preposition, lahit katel, like yeet katel in the imperfect. And finally, the he feel, the preposition with a shva, the Hey from the he feel is still present, and you get the hierarchyode. You still get to see the patach, which is a big clue for the imperfect, as you remember, and for the participle, as you remember. So, le haktiv. That is the form of the infinitive in the various stems. Lech le shalom.